This is MXP150M amplifier. It has excellent amplification. It also has built-in SWR protection to prevent signal return and equipment damage. Here you can turn the knob to the band you want to operate. Now let's find it out. Welcome to another one of our videos. This is a complete parts list for our MXP150M, which includes the power amplifier itself, the power cord, and the sender cable for the IC705 radio. Here are the other products needed for this time, a power supply, a power standing wave meter, and a 50 ohms dummy load. Now let's connect them. First connect the radio to the amplifier with a feeder cable. Then connect the amplifier ANT port to the power meter TX port. And the TX port of the power meter is connected to the dummy load. By the way, don't forget to connect the amplifier to the power supply. In order to adapt to the CS818, here we use the send cable for MXP150M definition of the self-adaptive cable. Finally, connect the radio send port by plugging a test cable into the send port on the amplifier. Now let's try to use it. This is unamplified power. Let's try to change the output signal. At this time the power is around 4 watts. Now let's turn on the MXP150M. Switch to the 40 meter band corresponding to this frequency. Remember to switch ranges to avoid damaging the power meter. The amplified power was so high that I turned the output signal down a bit to be safe. The amplified power is about 60 watts at this intensity. Let's start from the beginning in full. We adjusted the power meter range to see the initial power level first. Next, turn on the MXP150M, adjust to the corresponding band, turn up the range to prevent damage to the device, and then transmit the signal. When used with the IC705, the connection method is similar, and you need to connect the send port by replacing the send cable that comes with the MXP150M. To be on the safe side, let's reduce the output power first, at which point the unamplified power can be read as about 1 watt. Next, turn on the MXP150M, at which point you can see that the power is amplified to about 42 watts. Now we turn up the output power and compare the power before and after amplification. Then turn on the MXP150M power amplifier. After amplification, the power becomes about 120 watts. That's all. Thank you for watching this video about our powerful MXP150M amplifier, and if interested you can buy it directly from the website or check out your nearest distributor.